Hey y'all, what's going on? Uh, pretty much everybody who would have wanted to watch this video uh, seems to be already done. There are everybody's pretty much uh, cleared out. Feels like, uh, I don't know, feels kind of like going to, uh, you know, feels like uh, going to uh, church on spring break. Like everybody's just like, eh, don't really need to go. Um, and stuff, and and all that. So basically, well, the reason I wanted to make this video is that um, I just wanted to talk about how I feel like more and more as I, you know, as I make videos for, well, as I make vlog type videos and stuff like that, that you know, I, I almost, I'd, I'd rather keep them to myself, and I, and I have done a, a couple of videos in the past. Well, basically, this is always how, how the channel has run is I've always done some of my videos in uh, journal format, as in terms of I don't fucking publish them; they're mine. Uh, so you can fuck off if you want them. You know what I mean? So like, they're personal. And so, like, I those videos they are are honestly more. They tend to be more hard hitting in terms of talking about antinatalist stuff and more fucking hard hitting in terms of talking about the pain in, the, in, in this fucking world we live in. But um, since people, the average person can't handle that and they think that that's uh, mental illness or whatever to fucking hate the world, then, you know, I have to basically just, uh, you know, put on this facade of everybody, you know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm conventionally sane and so is everybody else watching my videos and everybody's just, I think just hunky-dory, but there's no, there's no point in spreading liberation if everybody insists on being enslaved anyways, so, I mean, it's like, all these, I've been saying these things since the beginning of my channel, such as, you know, like, um, I don't support breeders at all. Like I don't, I don't buy music from people who have children. Like I literally look up their name first before I will buy. I will look up the name of the artist first before I'll buy their music because I don't. I, I, I refuse to buy any music from breeders, and so I haven't done that in years. And I've been doing that since I was a teenager, actually. Um, actively pursuing that because it fucking ang angers me so goddamn much. How these people, I mean, it's like, they're so insecure, basically. They're just like, oh yeah, I'm so creative and different and wonderful and special. And, oh, and all my children, they're creative and wonderful and different and special. And I'm different, and you know, basically I'm different, but you're not. But I'm the same shit as everyone else times a fucking goddamn billion. So I hate the fuck out of music like that because it's fake as shit. It's like, you already, the reason you're making the music is to fucking support your family. I, I'm not stupid, asshole, and, and I'm not going to support your family. I'd rather them starve to death, so fuck off. Okay. And I don't buy movies with, the, have stars who are fucking uh, breeders. I don't buy movies where the director's a breeder. I don't, I don't. I don't go to the movies. I haven't gone to the movies in fucking four years, you know. Uh, I... I like any operating system besides op open source OS's piss me off. You know, I can't even like turn on Windows anymore. I just like it feels like disease. And uh, you know, I try to tell people, okay, well, part of the because li to me, part of the liberation shit and part of the because it's to me, internationalism is a liberal concept. And we can't see the problem is when you try to tell somebody something's liberal, they're just like, oh, that's I can't think for myself. I can't try. So I'm going to shut the fuck up and sit down like a bitch. So, you know, um, so basically, you, as much as people will say, yeah, I totally agree with you, bro, and yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah, exactly, you're totally right about everything. And upon inspection, upon every one of my subscribers who are all blocked, they all fucking, wa pretty much all of them watch shit by breeders or music with breeders in them or in Mendem videos, or in fact, most of the fucking subscribers they have in Mendem videos all over the place in their fucking faves and their likes and shit, and I've been saying since like fucking a year ago that I hate his ass and I think he's a fucking fascist. So it's like, again, if you don't want to be liberated from the stupid bullshit, like again, fascist shit, and the goddamn enslavement to the corporate machine, 
to whoever is the most fucking convenient for the system we live in to fucking spread into. See, he, the reason why shithead is popular is because he's a blonde, blue-eyed, white fucking goddamn old-ass male. He's part of the goddamn old boys club. He can get away with whatever the fuck he wants, and he has! Just like Trump, who he said, who he pretends to be against, who he literally is the, a fucking goddamn spitting image of, or, or whatever the term is. You know, he, he literally ha has the same principles of the way he fucking acts and talks as Trump. Again, and again, and again, and again. We're just going in circles because we just can't fucking see that it's not about a fucking individual. See, that's what it's, it's become about with me, with this channel, and why it's such a fucking waste to make the videos on here. It's, a, it's about me. They don't care about what I have to say. They're not listening to what I have to say. They're just like, oh, it's, hey, it's Elias. Oh, I'm going to thumbs up a video because I feel sorry for him. That's how my relationships have been since I've been a fucking little goddamn kid. I feel sorry for this asshole because he was a fucking, you know, mainly because I was homeschooled when I was younger. And they just say, oh my god, there, he's special and he needs attention because, oh, I feel so sorry for him. So the more you, you do this feel sorry for me shit and like, oh, he needs attention. And just like you assholes, you think you need attention every fucking second of the day. You know, I don't need it. Go fucking burn to death. That's why I goddamn named the channel Fire Radio. So you would all go, fuck off. You know, I basically made the channel hoping that nobody would respond to the videos. Hoping that, like, fucking, basically, everybody would see from the video itself that I hate their asses and I want them to fucking die. But it's not clear enough, you know. So, you know, we, we I, I don't know. It's like, I, I have to basically talk in, like... I have to just be running all over the place with the topics, too, because, again, people can't pay attention. So I have to fucking say everything in five minutes, ten minutes. Oh, but even for me, again, it's like the 30-minute videos. It's like even that, it doesn't do it for me. You know, it's like fucking, it, it, it's like you can go on forever about the anti shit, and they'll still say that you have no reason to be a fucking anti nihilist that you have no reason to be against a pain machine, that you have no reason to stop going into the fucking fighting in the wars, and killing all the people who don't look like you. They, they're never going to stop excusing it, because it's convenient as fuck for them. And they're never going to do anything that's not convenient. They're going to sit on their ass and be sorry asses. And so that's why I don't talk to anybody on this YouTube channel. I don't talk to anybody on my other YouTube channel. I don't have any social media. I've deleted it all. I, I, I literally only have the YouTubes. Before, like I said, the journal purposes... And I don't even, like, the first channel I have, it's like, I just, have basically, for my own personal entertainment. It's like my own goddamn TV channel, since, of course, they wouldn't ever play a goddamn show somebody would actually want to watch on TV. You have to play it yourself. Just like with my radio station. I got my radio up, up and running, but it doesn't fucking matter. It only goes a few blocks, but it still is fucking better than any of the goddamn stations you could hear across the country, across the fucking planet, because they're all censored. They're all censored because you can't, oh, no, you can't handle hearing curse words. That's, that's, uh, no, no, that'll scar them for life, the little kiddos. Fucking assholes, man. They just can't handle the fact that they, they can't shield their fucking little DNA trophies forever. And they never will and they never have. Their kids are figuring out what the fuck anal is by eight years old. I mean, it's like, it's like, <laughs> it, 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 it kills me. It's just like. Because again, like I said, there's there's no amount of explaining you could do to people to convince them to 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 convince them to think at all. It's like I don't know, like the the the, the whole thing I've been saying since the beginning of this channel is to me, antinatalism and liberalism are intertwined. Of course, everyone on fucking planet Earth says no, but they're wrong because antinatalism is about preventing birth which all the conservatives want to perpetuate it is a conservative idea to be a breeder it is a conservative idea to cause harm to others because you think god told you to do it because you think it's societally acceptable so i'm going to do whatever society says just be conservative follow the fucking crowd and be a conservative that's what a conservative asshole cunts means so, 
it, it's like you know you can tell people you have to, to tie the antinatalist beliefs to to antinatalist beliefs about sex you have to tie, tie it to liberal beliefs about sex you have to tie it to liberal beliefs about humans which none of these people seem to be doing. They just seem to be saying, no, it's the human body's response to stimuli, and this is exactly how you're supposed to respond. You're supposed to just be a breeder, and every time you see a nice lady, you just fucking goddamn cause a baby. I mean, that's literally the type of shit that every one of the fucking antinatalist coward clowns on this fucking goddamn YouTube and on the internet says. They just say you can't prevent it, even though they say they're antinatalists. You can't prevent it, so how the fuck are you liberal? How the fuck are you antinatalist? You don't give a fuck. You're just going to make excuses up. So go ahead and keep making excuses like you fucking matter. Okay? You you can't, you don't matter as an antinatalist if you can't tell people to wear a goddamn condom. They're not just going to stop having sex assholes. This is what this is exactly what the Christians say. Then you're being as retarded as the conservative cunts. Okay? You're then you're saying, "Oh, you can just be abstinent." That doesn't happen for everyone. In fact, it doesn't happen for most people. You can't be abstinent for most goddamn people on planet fucking Earth. But no. No. No, you can. So, yeah, you just, just that's the only way to be antinatalist, guys. You just don't ever have sex. If you, don't, if you do anything other than that, then you're not a real antinatalist. And, anti and uh, you know, Forever Wolf Films isn't going to give you a shout-out and shit. And uh, it, it, it's, it's a fucking disaster. And, and again, these people, they, they just will make up any excuse for their lazy intellectual and physical behavior. You know, these people, I've been saying since the beginning of this channel, people should, all fucking males who are straight should get sterilized. None of the goddamn, I know for a fact none of my subscribers have done that in the whole year that I'm making videos. When they very easily could have. And of course, they're going to go out and fucking breed right after I said that because I said to do the opposite of what they want, what they already want to do because I said the opposite of what they want me to do. You know, it's like, basically, as soon as I say something, they immediately want to do the opposite. Like, at the dispensaries that I go to, I always go there wanting sativa. They never have fucking sativa. I have to fucking run around everywhere to go find sativa because they never refill the sativa. It's always indica because it's only old fucks that smoke the fucking indica bullshit. It doesn't have any mental effects. It's just... Fucking, oh, I'm just gonna sit and be a, oh, I'm just gonna fucking sit on the couch and do shit, nothing, like I usually always do, anyways. No difference. So, yeah, I have, it's like, ev basically every aspect of my existence is like literally everyone's trying to drive me insane. Like, they literally do the opposite of what I fucking want them to do in all cases. They do the opposite of what's right in all cases. They don't think in all cases. They never fucking respect me in all cases, so I don't respect them in all cases. I don't think about them in all cases. I don't talk to them in all cases. I don't fucking even acknowledge their existence in all cases anymore. So, I'm done.